Hi guys, hey. it's been a minute. Mm -hmm. More, I think, like a century. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what I'm with? I'm with Kate, hey. and we are at Imire. We arrived an hour late. <laughs> an hour late, but don't blame us. The weather was really horrible. Yeah. But anyway, God came through. The weather is really beautiful. Yeah, it's uh, excited to take you guys to do tour. Let's try that again with proper English bundles. What I was saying is that we went to Imira in May 2022 and this is how the day went. I hope you enjoy the vlog. I think that was a bit stable. A yeah, bit stable. <laughs> oh my god. Rhinos. What are rhinos in showing my cage? Rhinos? <laughs> <laughs> I fail. <laughs> it's a black one. The white one is a bit ashy, it's like grey. Yeah. No, it's a black. Oh, right. Eighteen months. Then, uh, who clipped? It's fifteen. Mm. Mm. So, if you don't have them breeding in a hurry, it takes quite a long time. The slow breeders in general, that's why mm. they're facing extinction. It was 17 months and two to two and a half years of nursing the young. <laughs> you add that up, it's quite a long time they to wait. They won't have that many in their lifetime. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And do they have one baby at a time? One baby. Okay. With the wild animals, especially the ones with the longer gestation period, wild animals in general, they never get uh, twins. Okay. It was mm. such such a burden for the mother to look after twins with the uh, predators around. Interesting. What would prey on a rhino other than yeah humans? Uh, <laughs> when he calls, it calls like he's saying "guawe." <laughs> it's considered as a whistleblower. Yeah. <laughs> mm. the first one to spot danger and the uh, alarm yeah. to everyone, including the wild animals. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it goes like saying, Yeah. When they're young, they have such long whiskers. Oh. And as they grow older, they um, lose the whiskers, developing the actual uh, tusk. Okay. And the darker one, bigger. Oh, yeah, that's mine. Oh, yeah. Mm. Ah, it's, it's a water hog. Oh. Water hog. Super dangerous. For people, you know? They're not scared of anyone. They're known for challenging people as well. You know, wow. someone who got the naked pulled out. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Super power. Yeah, very close. Wow. Because if you go to the eat, mm -hmm. what dogs eat anything? If you go to that, they eat grass, they eat insects, yeah. they eat meat, yeah. they eat fruit. Anything. When the cheetah have killed, they go for the carcasses. Mm -hmm. So you see on their back legs, slightly above their hooves. That's where the smell which we're talking about uh, comes from. They use for the communication, like a Wi-Fi booster. It's <laughs> <laughs> the water bag. Water bag, the stinky one. <laughs> and they just dive into the water that's how they get away from the enemies if they know lacoste in the water 
<laughs> so after they just bring in the water, they release an oily fluid which comes from under the skin. So that oily fluid retails the water from the skin so they don't stay wet for a long time. But that oily fluid has got a bad smell, which to the predators, they are the last option, but to them it's a defensive mechanism. So do crocodiles go for them or do they also get put off by the smell? Yeah, they, they go for them. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> because they, they don't test what... through the tour and it's been amazing, amazing. Now we're about to have our lunch here and the view is to die for of excellent leadership but leading the wrong head. <laughs> so the elephant is matriarchal society. The dominant uh, female leads the head. Oh my god. Buffalo is patriarchal society. The dominant male leads the head. So this elephant he lives in female leadership so she imposed her powers on the wrong head. Buffalo <laughs> even got much of a say but he do as she says. Because she tells them what to do. <laughs> Over the years, she killed 15 buffalo bulls by tasking and stamping on them. What? So she's very strict with her leadership. <laughs> oh Margaret <my> Thatcher. <laughs> she's ruling with an iron fist. <laughs> I know. Oh my gosh. Wow. Hi, Margaret. So then, What's her name? Zoe. 
Mm. Not just a reminder that she's an elephant. Not a buffalo, <laughs> but she didn't help the situation. Didn't help any. Oh, oh. oh, oh my there God! There she goes. Oh yeah. my word. She's the head of the. She's the head of the buffalo disciplinary committee. <laughs> so she's never. Had... No. We tried to introduce her into a phone kind, but it didn't work out. Mm -hmm. The moment she see her phone kind, she bolt back to the buffalo. Oh my word. Mm -hmm. Yes, the mother got killed by poachers in Gonari Show, then she was rescued and brought here. Mm. So, so she, when she was brought here, was that when she started? Yes, because there were no other elephants. And with time, she developed a strong bond with the buffalo. Mm -hmm. Now, while in the section, she had them barking. When they caught one of the dogs and she was stabbing, she accidentally broke her task, too, but she killed that dog. Mm. So, the woman of many talents. She mm. oh, keeps the buffalo in line because for the handlers to be safe from the buffalo is because of her. Yeah. <laughs> she stops the, the um, buffalo uh, from charging the handlers. Mm. She keeps the buffalo in line. It's super dangerous. They don't. o'clock and our day is done it was so 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 amazing i really enjoyed myself we got here a bit late okay not a bit but like an hour late <laughs> <laughs> yeah the weather was really really bad but um we got it we got here and thank god they allow us to mm -hmm. continue with our trip um unfortunately we weren't able to see the cheetahs oh, and the giraffes but yeah so now emira has cheetahs so if that's something that you really want to see yeah definitely come here but i would definitely recommend that if you want to enjoy emira to the fullest do a overnight stay it's yeah, yeah you definitely get more like benefits from that you mm -hmm. get like animal interaction Actually, it's stuff, amazing yeah. for the day trip the food was a 10. Oh yeah, the food was amazing. I'm so full of that. <laughs> right food now we're having amazing. afternoon tea with some, oh, I didn't have that, but with some like scones Sports and like jam. Mm -hmm. But it was, it's really mm -hmm. nice. The food, a 10. Mm -hmm. The trip, um, the safari, mm -hmm. I would say 8. They don't have a lot of animals. Yeah. They have like three elephants, but mm -hmm. yeah. I would say in it because they don't have like a lot of animals. They have animals but not as much as I was expecting. Yeah, so I would say um, an eight. But it's definitely worth um, the drive down from Harare. It's very, very close. Um, it's what, an hour and a half? Yeah, this is an hour, let's just say an hour, 10 minutes. Yeah, an hour, 10 minutes. Yeah, an hour. Especially if the weather is good. You good. just have to know that you have like a. 37k yeah, 37 kilometer of like a bad road so yeah that would definitely slow you down but otherwise um this was amazing thank you kate for treating me it was my birthday treat <laughs> you in may but it's still okay i'm it's grateful still all right. <laughs> yeah so it was yeah. amazing if you guys end up going coming to imire please let us know how how it was but don't forget to subscribe like and share <laughs> On our way back home, we decided to stop by this water body. I forgot the actual name of this place, but it's, it is so beautiful. Um, it's actually nicer if you pass by early in the morning when you're going to Imire. So please do make sure you do that when you go to Imire. And thank you again for watching the vlog.